How to supercharge your self-confidence in three months or less. Successful people credit their sense of self and their confidence to their success, yet why do a lot of people struggle with confidence issues? Especially in the age of social media, it can be difficult for less confident people not to compare themselves with other people. You might be lacking confidence at work, in public speaking, or in meeting new people, which makes you fear that you aren't taken seriously. So, what is self-confidence? Self-confidence can be described as your attitude about your skills and abilities. It means you accept and trust yourself and have a sense of control in your life. You know your strengths and weakness and have a positive view of yourself. You set realistic expectations and goals, communicate assertively, and can handle criticism. If you are suffering from a lack of self-confidence, remember that low self-confidence is rarely related to your actual abilities, and is mostly based on your perception of yourself. The great news is you can do many things to help boost your self-confidence levels. Welcome to the Aspiring Millionaires Network, the home of current and future millionaires. Let us explore five ways to supercharge your self-confidence in three months. Number one, recognize that everyone is human. In life when you meet someone you've been looking up to, you may quickly fall under the illusion that they are much better than you and you might be feeling discouraged to speak with them or hold a meaningful conversation. Remember that regardless of who they are, they are no different from you. Everyone at some point in their lives has been an apprentice as well. They have probably suffered from self-confidence and doubt issues at some point in their lives as well. Superstar Angelina Jolie suffered from self-confidence during her early childhood, she was self-harming, had trouble connecting with others, and even tried committing suicide on more than one occasion. But she eventually overcame these issues and built a healthy level of self-esteem. She stated, One day I realized something that I hope you all realize. Being different is good, and our experience is good or bad makes us who we are. If she can do it, there's no reason you can't. Number 2. Monitor and celebrate your achievements. The best way to reach your goals, big or small, is break them into smaller goals and to monitor your progress. As humans, we can often take for granted our daily successes because of our mindset alignment. We tend to ignore things that have become normal to us. Whether you agree or not, we all have some levels of success daily. Waking up is success, being able to pursue our dreams is success, the ability to walk, bath, work, eat and sleep with good health is success. Most issues we worry about are not life-changing, they tend to be external, sometimes not even in our control yet, we allow them to affect our self-confidence. Crush your self-doubt by reminding yourself of your achievements and be grateful for them, keep a record in your diary to remind yourself anytime you have fledging thoughts. Celebrate what you've accomplished but raise the bar a little higher each time you succeed, MIA ham. Number 3. Practice regularly. As cliche as it may sound, one of the best ways to 10x your self-confidence is to practice regularly. Practice helps you curb anxiety, it keeps you in the zone and keeps your nerves in check. Practice lets us execute a task while using less and less active brain processing power. It makes things automatic. When performers master one aspect of their work, they free their minds to think about another aspect. This may be why many of us have our most creative thoughts while having a shower or brushing our teeth. In the broad sense of the term, it is simply an activity that you repeat regularly. Sometimes we repeat activities consciously, e.g., practicing swimming five times a week. Practice is everything. This is often misquoted as practice makes perfect, periander. Number 4. Get fit and get dapper. You never get a second chance to make a good first impression. Making a good impression is always important, and it's one of the best reasons why to dress well too. When you look good, people notice. If you meet someone in sweatpants, they will just assume you were too lazy to get dressed up. But if you meet someone in a smart outfit that expresses who you are, they will notice the effort you put into making yourself presentable. You feel good when you look good, dash adedipe. With regards keeping fit, besides benefiting your health in general, Keeping fit helps your memory retention, improves focus, helps manage stress and prevents depression. Exercise improves every aspect of our lives and is the ultimate form of self-care. Regular exercise improves mood, boosts energy, promotes better sleep and also puts the spark back into your sex life. Number 5. Allow room for mistakes. Failing isn't your enemy, it's the fear of being labeled a failure that cripples most people. 
the truth is most successful people have been afraid, and they've kept working and taking risks anyway, because what they are trying to accomplish is more important than their fear they will fail. As humans, perfection is an impossibility, and this is a fact we all must live with no matter how hard we strive for perfection. Most of us have been conditioned to be afraid of failure. Hence, people are afraid to take risks or make mistakes. If we don't take risks, we remain in our comfort zones forever. Don't be your own worst critic, instead, be your own biggest fan as no one else will. Look at risk as an opportunity to grow. Get rid of the fear of mistakes and self-depreciation with daily great self-talk. Quick summary. Mistakes are a part of life. Your mistakes don't define you. It simply makes us human, and we are stronger than our mistakes. Thank you for watching. Kindly like and subscribe to be notified when we release more awesome videos.